Hi guys, welcome to this review about this USB to VGA adapter from AppLevy, which is supposed to support USB 2.0, 3.0, a lot of display resolutions, a lot of different window system back to Windows XP has warranty and has good reviews a lot but also a lot of one star reviews people saying it does not work at all or it it broke uh, their PC Chinese virus and so crazy things I mean it's actually a really interesting product especially if you are traveling with your notebook maybe you are a consultant and have to be at clients and make presentations and most of the projectors i mean probably 99 percent of them they have these Wichi a uh, adapters but as output from your laptop a lot of them don't have this Wichi a anymore uh, most of them have definitely hdmi or other things display port whatsoever so it could be a good thing if this really works from usb to vga just 15 dollars a really interesting product with with such uh, mixed reviews it's better to uh, check out if this really works and so i thought i'd just buy it and give it a try and now let's see if this really works so here we have already this product, the USB to EGA adapter. It comes with a really cheap plastic, uh, I mean, no cardboard, no nothing, but I mean, it's $15. And of course, they don't want to spend a lot of money on that. So here we see that, I mean, it looks quite heavy. I think it's metal, feels cold. Yeah, I think that's metal. Here we have the screws on the side. That's what we want to see to have a stable connection here usb yes and nothing to say looks a little bit like gold is it gold i don't know probably not so what we also get is this cd rom it's a small cd rom i mean most of the laptops don't even have cd rom and i haven't found a website to download but i have uploaded it to my dropbox so you will find the link below into the in the description so you can download it for free from my dropbox guaranteed virus checked uh, but i cannot guarantee that it has no virus I, I just have checked it i also assume that dropbox is checking that so i have no indication that this really contains a virus even when people are claiming but maybe they are just saying to have a reason to return it because it didn't work you never know so here we have the instructions i hope you can see that so this is something what i always do in my videos i'm showing at least the main part of the instructions so you can read everything and you know what to expect or if you already bought the thing and you lost the instructions and you need it you can go back always to my video and have this as a reference so maybe i have to go a little bit closer yeah so at least regarding the installation so we have it so if you don't need that you can skip forward a little bit but i think it's worth to go a little bit closer otherwise it won't be really helpful here we have it if you need it of course you will have to pause the video a little bit and then read everything i'm not waiting so long but yeah now i'm close to the end even we even have an uninstall part yeah that's it for the moment and um now going to the laptop and see how this works here we have some information additional letter from ablevy and so here we have the support email address which could be helpful see uh, since it looks really that a lot of people are having problem it's a really good idea and they guarantee that they will 
respond within 24 hours. So first I wanted to show you the Dropbox again here. If you click on my link, you will come to this site. Maybe you will see an ad from Dropbox and they want to sell you that. Just click that away or ignore it. Here you should see the two download files. Here we have the one from for Windows XP and here we have the version for Windows 7 till Windows 10. Uh, everything between Windows 7 and Windows 10. You click on that and then you say download here or probably here. Since I haven't been able to really live record that I have made a few pictures and video and now I'm screen recording and but I still be able to show you everything so don't worry about that maybe just the quality is a little bit worse so here we have again I mean uh, we are here actually on my laptop and here we see both installation I mean both versions and of course I had Windows 10 and I clicked on Windows 10 for the installation as you can see it's really small it's 4.78 megabytes the XP version is even smaller I think just one point something so you don't have to fear that your hard this hard disk drive will be full after installation even when it takes some time of course we have to confirm do you want to allow this app from unknown publisher this is always like a little bit yeah not so good not what we want but we don't have any choice uh, by the way i have attached the device with the usb to my laptop and i was hoping that windows will install a driver on its own so i don't have to download it from any strange Chinese source but that didn't happen I waited for some time it didn't install anything at all so uh, I can't see this no CD-ROM thing so you really need the files as far as I can tell and I have done the installation on program files USB display that's the default and I think you have to remember that because you, when you want to uninstall, you have to go there. After the whole thing, after the whole test, I have tried to uninstall like normal. You go to settings and apps and you want to uninstall. I haven't been able to find that for some strange reason. So if you want to uninstall after that, if you don't use it anymore, go to this directory and there will be an uninstall file. Click on that and it will do the uninstall after that. So here we go. Uh, would you like to uninstall this device software from publisher Wang Chong Hong Jing Chong Hong Wang? No, I don't know. Sorry for that. It's just a small joke. I mean, uh, it, it's annoying when we have, uh, when we get such products and we don't even get an English name for a publisher here. Always trust this software from, yeah, I've really no uh, idea what it is I mean I don't know uh, any Chinese and I think you cannot even translate that it's just from the software so yeah you have to all click and then click on install of course here same thing and then yeah complete the USB display setup yes restart the computer now this is what I did what do we have here yeah it after rebooting it showed me this i hope i can show you that a little bit better i found this in the sys tray so you go to the right side at the bottom you have this arrow which uh, points up and you click on that and you have all this uh, software which is running in the background the really annoying even more annoying thing is we just get when we right click on it we get two options either to open or to close no sorry i have no clue what that is i yeah again i don't understand chinese i have really no clue i think once i clicked on this thing here below and it closed the program so maybe this is open i don't know i didn't do anything with here but we don't have to use that that's the good thing 
so we go yeah what we do we have to click right click on the desktop and then we cl left click on display settings so here you can see it even better go to display settings and here go to detect click on detect if it doesn't work to identify but i think it was in my case it was the detect which brought up this additional display which it said display not detected but at least it was one and right almost at this moment i have been seeing this additional display you see the configuration small laptop here and here we have the tool and it's connected through vga and it brought up the display and it looked really similar the only thing is it had a huge black thing on the knees and the top was not visible so it was a little bit off and not fully centered so you can see it even better here and yeah then i tried to change some settings to make it a little bit better maybe we can see even more yeah here we have a small uh, video about the whole thing so yeah what you see i mean i have just a usb 2.0 connection and here you can see on the laptop the mouse is fast and on the screen which is connected through usb the cursor is really slow here up it's slow down on the laptop it is fast so at least with usb 2.0 the connection seems to be really slow i mean it's okay for a presentation but not probably for a video or if you have like a game or something like that that definitely wouldn't work but maybe with usb 3.0 unfortunately i haven't been able to test that because my laptop doesn't have usb 3.0 but at least with usb 2.0 it's low i mean it makes sense i'm not complaining about that i really think with usb 3.0 it will be better here you can see the edges of the screen you can see it's totally off while the laptop screen of course is fully centered you can see everything here you can't use the top it's not visible so it's hard to click on anything like to close a window and underneath you have a lot of black space which you actually don't need so what i did then i went back to display settings and i changed to 10 to yeah i think it's 768 yeah and what happened it got perfectly aligned no problems with the display i mean it didn't uh went faster but at least the display was then perfectly visible it was perfectly aligned no strange uh, things so if you have same problem you really have to work with the resolution try all the possible resolutions in my case uh, i haven't been able to use higher settings because it's a laptop it's an old i mean and a cheap slow laptop it doesn't have all the really great features for higher display resolution so i have just d3 but at least the top two 768 and 600 both worked pretty well so i mean i'm really not complaining and vga as you know there is no sound so there's no was nothing to test it's only the display but the display seems to work really stable i didn't have any interruptions or interferences or something like that it was pretty stable so i cannot really complain after that after the installation i did of course a scan maybe you do it better before i forgot that but uh, yeah i just make sure that before you install anything do a scan or at least right after that and i mean i have been doing that 
after the installation after using that which is of course not recommended but at least i have done that and it that's the windows defender and it scanned everything and it said it hasn't found any threats at all here you see that it finished with no zero threats found so here again you see just chinese signs if you're chinese yeah you know what it is probably if not then you're in trouble so here again we see the this the installed files program files usb display and these are the things which have been installed and you can see it's it's a little bit bigger than from the install or like yeah from the installation file but not much this is the bigger thing it's a little bit more than five megabytes so really nothing to worry about and here you have the uninstall routine if you want to uninstall and you don't find the uninstall in the windows settings apps you can click on that and it will be gone at least in my case it worked perfectly so i did that that's the uninstall thing and you have to also like reboot of course but that's it i mean from my side i mean yeah more or less full recommendation i mean the device actually works as soon as you have installed the driver it shouldn't be a problem to have a good reliable uh, connection to any kind of displays that's the good thing i don't think that such companies will send such cd-roms with a virus but you never know you're not you cannot be 100 percent sure it would be really a nice thing if, if something like that would be integrated into the windows drivers and microsoft would check them and install them on their site so we don't have to install that from unknown third third party chinese companies which we have no idea who's behind that but if you need that yeah probably it's good to go i really have don't have any indication that it's a virus so i'll put down the link to this product i mean to the listing on amazon into the description so you can click on that you get more information and if you like it you can right away order it from there that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time